So hey, uh, in this video, we'll be uh, de de deploying a backend server using Railway. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's say now we have a repo. So for this, you have to make a repo. So um, just simply make a repo. Um, so. Now I'll just create a repository and then what I will do is I'll just clone it. Take some time to load, but mm -hmm. okay. it clone V. I'll just clone the repo and I will just do the CD. Uh, yeah, so I need npm in y and I will do and be my express and then what do I need dot env env yeah it's fine so I'll just purchase and dot env uh, I just create mm. if I pull out this. Um, mm. Mm -hmm. I'll just make it dot in dot in B and then I need dot in a normal and just make a server on wire Express launched. Do it. Did I forgot something? Where is it? Just express. What was that? Uh, there was an extension issue, I think. My extensions were not initializing that way. Uh, so, const express equal to require. Uh, express. Express const add will go express. Create an instance uh, and then uh, app dot app dot get it will be home route will just request from response and I'll just create a response dot send uh I'll just send uh, what I'll do hey I'll just uh, give it a edge back yeah, okay, hi. So app uh, dot dot listen to port. Uh, I'll define the port. Mm. We get callback server so started. Log.
started. Now I have to configure the app dot use express dot JSON dot one thousand meters express dot JSON and what I'll do is hmm, I just create a port. And then dot yeah, require dot dot env dot config. What I will do is I'll just make a cons variable cons equal to Starting on the yeah, so let's just uh, we have not more comma, we'll just run it. Now, NPM run is not recognized. Why not? Okay, okay. Be my um. Then render and it will just create my server. Yeah, server start. Great. So let's just deploy post this. Get and on. Push. Sessions. No. So if I pull out my best provider repo, now you would see my, yeah, everything got pushed. And now what I'll do is we just pull out the railway. And the railway, um, railway you have to log in. So I'll just go to um, what I would kill. Yeah, I'll go to dashboard, add a new project. Uh, yeah, did deploy dip, dip from the GitHub uh, config or GitHub app. Let's test for IP. Add variables. I have to add variables because I need EMB rate. So it will give me variables. So I will just click on raw editor. And what I will do is port equal to uh, 80. Great. So update the variables. And if you update the variables, then it will it will give you dictate of deploying. Now if you click on deployments, it is adding. Yeah, so it was getting deploying. It will take some time, I guess. Then I'll just pause them. So as you can see after after some after a couple of minutes it got it got a success message. And now I could click on the deploy logs in short see the server started and the uh, bill logs here you would say all the pay bill logs and the details you will get the details and now if I click on the settings and I'll just do a general domain I need the domain so yeah I'll just click on this. Now, if you see, um, the one with uh, data deployment will be live soon. I'll just do a control R. So it takes some time, but yeah, it is fast. I mean, hey, I rate. So now if I, it is working, isn't it? 
so now let's say you have to like uh, make in another object so let's say um, dot get dot get uh, products mm. request and response now what I'll do is I'll just copy this one copy this one control C uh, products right so if it makes some changes you have to again push it to your depot uh, changes yeah I, I think i have to put the kit dot nb changes were after no i think it will work. but anyways uh, if you make the changes then what you will see in the dashboard is that deployments and it will create an another deployment because there was a github because this one is connected to your github repo then it will just update update it for you it, it will automatically uh, detect your this repo and whenever there is some changes it will just update your link as well right so yeah uh, this one is also let's say if i want to get the products products i'll get the products right so yeah this one is all about the backend deployment it is really fast uh, i mean uh, at least better than the render so yeah 